Today, we're gonna to take a look at trial pads overscan problem. Something that I noticed over the years is that trial pad has an overscan problem. And if you don't know what overscan is, it's something that happens on digital televisions to ensure that none of the image that you're sending gets accidentally clipped depending on what TV screen you're looking at. It's a weird thing. I can't really give you a good explanation as to why overscan is actually a thing, but it is. And let me show you, in case you don't know what it is, what I'm talking about. I'm gonna jump into trial pad and I'm gonna open up a, a, a demo file that I've worked with before in the past. And what I'll do is pull up a photograph of a scene. And already you can kind of see the problem that's emerging. I have my background in trial pad set to gradient and you can see the corners of my iPad image is not at the corners of my monitor. So even if you look here, here is the corner of my image in trial pad, but here is the corner down here of my viewable image. So even when I put an exhibit on the screen and I zoom in as big as I can get it, I'm not taking up the full four corners of the screen. Now it doesn't look like a lot, but if you're talking about text that's hard to read to begin with, or if you're really trying to maximize the utility of the screens that you have available to you in the courtroom, every little bit matters. And the fact that you can't use up the entire screen when you're using trial pad is a really big problem. But it's not necessarily trial pads problem per se, because let's say I just close this app. If I then go and look really closely at the mirroring of just my iPad screen right now, you could see that the app that I'm showing you, or just the desktop background, you could see that the desktop background that I'm showing you itself isn't taking up the full four corners of the screen. So here is the bottom, the bottom bezel here and here's where the screen starts. So it's already coming in a little bit. And so the overscan, what it does is some TVs, for whatever reason, they zoom in on the image a little bit. And so to avoid potentially cropping out important information, some broadcast television will shrink their image so it doesn't take up the full screen. And so it's kind of a chicken and egg. I don't know who's creating the problem, but each side is corresponding and compensating for the other. I wish it just didn't happen. And here's why I wish it didn't happen because when I unplug the HDMI cable and plug in instead a VGA cable, and what I'm doing is a VGA to USB-C adapter for my iPad. And let me switch inputs here. I'm gonna open up trial pad again, and then I'm gonna open up the same exhibit. And when I present it, you're gonna see that look, it's beautiful. It takes up the full four corners of the screen. Now we're seeing from bezel to bezel, everything that I intend for a trial pad to show me and to show to the jurors. And so that's really what I'm hoping for. And I don't, I've never under really understood why the iPad can't do it. Uh, but it seems to be like it's an issue that is only HDMI dependent. And so maybe the solution is just to only use VGA when you're connecting your iPad in the courtroom, if you wanna take up the full corners. For example, even if we're looking right here at my, just my iPad home screen, we can see that here, the iPad, when it's connected by VGA, is taking up the full height of the monitor. So it looks great, right? Here's where things get a little bit uh, interesting. So right now, I'm looking at VGA in PowerPoint. And now let's switch back to the HDMI cable where everything was kind of overscanned. Switch out the cables, and we'll go back to HDMI. Right now, we're going to look first at the mirror image of PowerPoint. And so maybe it's just that whenever an iPad is connected by HDMI, it can never take up the full four corners. But And here we're kind of seeing that already. We're looking at PowerPoint and there's the bottom bezel, but here's the bottom edge of the screen. So I'm losing some real estate, right? What happens when, when I actually start playing this PowerPoint presentation? It's taking up all four corners. I don't know why, even though this is HDMI on the iPad, it's taking up all four corners of the screen. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I can go through all the slides in this PowerPoint that I put together and it looks beautiful, even though I'm in HDMI. So whatever the problem is, maybe it's an iPad level problem, PowerPoint has been able to solve it so that I don't have to use VGA. And why would I wanna use HDMI in the courtroom when connecting my iPad Pro? Because this iPad Pro no longer has of a headphone jack. So I can't plug in a set of speakers or an audio cable to distribute 
audio that I'm playing. So if I'm watching a video that I'm trying to present from my iPad, I can't play the audio if I'm connected by VGA. So what I need to do is to be able to connect by HDMI. And so I'd love to be able to take full advantage of all the real estate of my screens with HDMI, but unfortunately, a lot of iPad apps don't allow it, TrialPad doesn't allow it, but it is technically feasible because I'm looking at it right here. So hopefully this video will shed some light on the problem and a potential solution. I'm no software developer, so I don't know if this is even applicable at all, but I know that it is at least technically feasible for at least this app. So maybe we can get it into the TrialPad app. I don't know how useful this video is to any of you guys out there, but just so you know, in case anyone asks you how come your image isn't as big as it can be on the screen, it has to do with something on the iPad, not necessarily with trial pad, but hopefully it's a problem that can eventually get resolved through some clever programming. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys more about these peculiar things that I come across. And if you've got some peculiar audiovisual stories that you've come across in the courtroom, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments as well. But that's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.